So we've launched our new Threadbare app. Uh, this is the pattern viewer and progress tracker, uh, but with the, some other features that we'll be adding in the uh, not too distant future. But for now, let's let's crack on and look at the patterns. So I've added a default pattern, so everyone should see the uh, the water lily. Um, and just to run through the the UI, this is showing the image. You can toggle whether you see the full image or just the pieces you've stitched and in both of these you see any selected stitches so because I don't this was the last thing I'd selected uh, it's still highlighted now I can turn that off um, let's hide the image and let's zoom into the pattern so this is typically the way you uh, you see things now once you zoom into a certain um, a certain zoom level you see the the symbols and you see the the counters on the top and left now these are the the 10 block counters um, we also have on our charts we have a red and a blue line and that indicates the exact center of the pattern um, I, I like to remember it with R for red red goes to the right B for blue blue goes to the bottom um, okay so now there's there's two ways to uh, select things. I'm, I'm using a mouse on a, a mobile device you'd be able to pinch and touch and just swipe around to move things. So I can move around at the moment because I'm in uh, search mode and I can click on any color and any any thread that I click on will become the selected one. Uh, and this, this is reflected in this thread list at the side. Now I can also select with this um, so once we get to some that are in in screenshot so you can see there's multiple ways to select uh, and this thread list shows the color of the thread the symbol that's on the pattern the code so this is the DMC code in this case uh, and then you've got two numbers so the green number is the number of threads uh, the number of stitches you've completed and red is the number that's still outstanding that you've you've got to do so uh, there's quite a lot there to do um, and we're going to make use of this in future to uh, be able to automatically tell you if you need to buy more thread for a particular uh, piece. So we're going to combine our thread stash um, utility with this app so that you'll be able to put in how many skeins of thread you have of each colour. Then when you start in a new pattern, you'll be able to pull up a shopping list and it tell you how many extra that you need to buy. So any, anyway, let's do some, some stitching. So let's say that we, we're going to stitch this color, uh, 956. And we also get the symbol at the side here. Uh, if you're on a mobile device with a small screen, this side panel uh, on the left is dismissible. So it just slides out when you click the menu option. Uh, so, but you can, we've aimed to make it completely usable using just the main view here. So if you've selected a color uh, it gives you the code and the symbol for it there. So this is you know what you'd pick out of your, uh, your, your thread to work on, to thread your needle. Now to mark stitches off, we switch to the pencil symbol. And there's three ways to do this. We can click on individual stitches. That's one way to do it. Uh, and you can do this on a device with just tapping with your finger. The other way is to kind of paint. So you click and, oops reselect again click and drag so if I click and drag and I'm sort of painting over those uh, then the other way to do it uh, and I'll I'll show I'll show you two things here so to, to change to a different color instead of switching back uh, one thing to note one once we're in the marking off thing we can't move the pattern so the patterns locked at that stage so you don't want to accidentally move where you're working on uh, so I could switch back, pick a different colour, and then switch back to the pencil. Um, a quicker way though, if if you're in the pencil mode and you just want to select a different colour, is to just long press on, on another thread and it will select that colour. And then the same long press can also be used to mark off all the stitches within a 10 by 10 square. So if you're using a gridding system that a lot of people do, uh, you're working in these 10 by 10 blocks once you've completed 
that block for that thread colour you just long press and it marks them all off um, and then obviously if you've if you've done another couple of blocks you can quickly mark those off so this is a quicker way of, of uh, marking off your progress uh, for a particular colour um, and then something else to show you so if I'm if I'm marking things off and I click these and I click these and oh no I I haven't done that stitch uh, not to worry there's there's an undo facility so you can just undo and go back to wherever you were and you can also redo so if you make a mistake by undoing something you can redo it again so and that works for every operation so if I do a 10 by 10 block I can undo that operation um, the final thing, and the undo redo just works with what you've currently been doing. Now, say you did some work, and then the next day you realise, oh, hang on, I marked off, I got mixed up, I was working with one colour but marking off a different one. I just need to delete some of these stitches that I've marked. And that's where the scissors come in. So, uh, with that, you can just click on any thread and, and basically mark it as unstitched. Um, so, this is for those. Um, horrible cases if you've had to frog a lot of work um, and again you can long press and clear a complete block as well uh, one thing I'm going to add soon is the ability to mark a complete 10 by 10 block has been stitched without having to select a color uh, and that's useful if you've uh, if you're migrating from a piece that you've got in progress maybe using a paper PDF that you're marking stitches on or some other system and you just want to quickly kind of catch up to your progress of where you are. Um, yeah, so that's the uh, that's the the Threadbear app. Um, it should work on any device, so uh, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, any b desktop browser, um, iOS devices, so iPhones, iPads with Safari, uh, Android devices so phones and also it will work on the uh, Amazon Kindle Fire tablet so they're a super cheap low-cost device if you want to get into uh, tracking your progress electronically and the other killer feature with this is all your progress is synchronized with the cloud so you can even if you lost your device or it broke <coughs> you can just go to a different device sign in all your progress is there um e even if you know if you're traveling going on vacation whatever <laughs> remember traveling yeah um you could use a you know take a cheaper device with you to track your progress uh you know and keep your high-end ipad at home maybe okay so let us know what you think um happy stitching <laughs>